Okay, I've just done a little bit of green around his little nose bit here. Needed a bit more green in there. Um, when you really look at his nose, it, this hair here, it really isn't coming out very much here. It's, um, it does maybe need a little bit of colour shaper on the edge there to bring it in a bit even more. His nose is very dark, so you need to be a bit careful about that. I don't know if you can see that, but you can still see dark colour coming off the colour shaper. And we don't want that. We don't want that on his um, light bit of hair there. So just be careful of that. Also, there's bits of dark on the edge, so you've got to be a bit careful. I'm just going to bring this colour over onto the green. It's very dark, orangey red. I can go onto the green now. Um, might get a bit orange in there. Just wanted to see what it was like with, with just the red on. Okay, let's get some orange. Quick sharpen on the edge. It's got a delicate little bit around his nose. We want to see some streakiness coming out from behind his nose. some orange in here now. Uh, get some streaks going in there. Very careful around his nose. And still looking at the way his hair is going around. Still looking at that. If I could do a bit of orange in there. Thank you. 
right on that. And this is actually coming, curving in. Spasman a bit. And we'll do some more. I don't want any darkness in here. I think the red will do it. Okay. We'll leave it there, I think. That's a bit pinker. We could possibly put in a bit of cream again. And it's a sharp, sharp tip. See what the cream does. It doesn't do the trick, we can use some white. some cream streaks here. Th these are white. We'll do white ones there because they'll stand out nicely. They're a bit oaty. We won't do the bright white. We'll just have to dull them down with something, I think. They won't look right a bit bright white. I've still got a black line there. Light line that's coming right from the corner of his nose there. So we'll put that in a bit stronger there. And then there's another from the tip tip here, underneath here, there are some white lines. A bit curvier. And then we've got something that's going up here. I'm just putting the main lines in that I can see now. Then you can soften, soften them up as you go. Coming out this way. That's a nice line coming out here. Now it's a little bit thin, but I quite like to put things like that in because it looks so much more natural when you do that.
Right. So now just let's stand back, take a look at it, have an oversight to it. Now these are kind of orange in here, aren't they? Orangey. Tips of those cream bits are orangey. And it's looking darker between the, the hairs and mine does. So we'll get some we'll get some orange ready. But we'll also have some black and it's going to need more than the colour shape of dragging a bit of colour on. It's going to need black. A nice sharp, nice sharp point. some streaks under here. need to be very very fine and to make them stand out I think it's gonna need some black in there the orange won't do it and the red will look too mad it'll get a look wrong the black will look better because they are they are quite subdued these white bits under here Black streaks go through to give the direction of those hairs. Sometimes to get the depth you just need you just need black over a colour. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that and then just tap it just to tap it into position. Really make sure your hands are clean there. It takes off the excess pastel as well. Stops it spreading around. We don't want it spreading around there. Just, it 
it needs to be darker on those bits there underneath underneath this top bit there and just crossing over those hairs rather than having them just down in lines So we'll try some try some black hairs in here now. details are what really makes a difference to the pet portraits. These, these will give it the real characteristics. If you get it exactly right, it will look like the animal you're trying to portray. It does mean you've got to pay careful, careful attention. Um, doesn't mean to say you've got to get the hairs all exactly right, but you've got to get the, the bits around the nose and everything that, that needs to be right, I think. Now, we need to make this line of his nose very, very carefully a little bit different. And we'll do that with the green. So I'll go right on the edge. Yeah, I just want to find the right green there. It's kind of well, very light actually, isn't it? It's uh, bright and then with a the white on it, I think. See this sound finding this green? I think it's probably this bright green, one of my new greens, and a little bit of white on it. So I'm guessing that that's, that's what it needs around his nose. And then rub it off that. And then just have a look at it. What I'm looking at is this, this bit here. That, I think that'll do. That'll do. And then there's a little white, like a little halo there as well, which I have put in, but it's not, it's not quite right. So I just wanna, just wanna try and do something a bit nicer with that. Don't mean careful. That's better, I think. It's just a tiny little bit too big. Okay, so just a, that's a couple of specks. And now we're going to use the white over that green. And then we'll put the halo in very, very gently. Spread it out into the green. Yeah, there is a little bit of ginger in there too. I'll use the orange, I think. Just very, very slight under his nose. Yeah. It's coming out here. There. That's it. That's all I do. We've got 
extra bits to do on his nose actually, we'll do that at the end I think. It's, um, we need some orangey hairs over, over his nose there I think, the orangey red. Yeah. He's going to need a bit of black over there. Okay, so we're going over cream here. So we're going to put the, we're putting our streaks in. There. See, so we've got that. We've got. We have. It's mostly orange in there, but the red is good because it's so dark. Give it a nice streaky look. So very gently, see how gentle I'm doing this. It's hardly, hardly touching, but that way you see you've got nice, nice strong, strong lines, but they're very delicate, very thin. So aren't you really? That's what you're doing, you're just stroking it right up against that dark bit there is red. I'm looking at this now. That line, there's a line coming through here that's going on the slant like that. dark, that's white, yeah, okay, we can put the colour shape on that, that bit there, and here, we'll put some red in, in here, also some black, shape now just see how that looks because they're not that orange are they these these bits they're more cream but they've got streaks in them so we're just trying to aim for that really just go over that black streak and it'll intensify it because it's pushing the pastel into the paper there and give it a nice point then on the edge then this Is there. That black streak needs to go down. See, it's going right to the right down here. And try it with the color shape. If it doesn't work, then get the black out. Get the black on it again. 
and make it make it right. So it's very faint lines. This is much better for me. I can do it much finer this way. But you do whatever you feel is comfortable for you. The way, best way you can get a fine, fine line, you do it that way. And this is a bit darker here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to work through these bits uh, a lock at a time. One of these hairy locks at a time. That's what we're going to do. Just make that nice and soft there. That needs to be black, very black there. And here. Very black. Now, that stops there. And what we'll do with that is just get that a bit stronger there. What we'll do with that is we'll put some cream over it. Again, very sharp point. This is a job for a sharp point, all these very, very fine hairs. And if you can master this, then you could, you'd be very pleased with yourself. When you come back to look at it, you think, oh my goodness, that looks great. Did I do that? And you, you will, you will do that. Right, see, so we're going to go through these, through these black bits here, just to break it up, see? It's broken up, and it gets stronger after that, really. And we've got some more, more of those. Another one of them. And then some cream through the back of there. And over there. That's it. That is a bit more faded, that black bit there. And this is nice and strong, so we'll go over that again. And it's, it's kind of straight, really. Straight, then it flicks up. And then that comes down. Like that, and then there's a bit of cream in there as well. Just splits it up a bit. Here. Okay, now we're going to do these bits here now. So they've got streaks going through. We've done the red streaks. We've also got the dark streaks, which we've kind of put in a bit. But it's much more streaky. over this. Nice. Just breaks it up a bit. And it's a bit more orange to go in there. See it's, it's more orange. So we'll just do the streaks through it. Oh, 
colours you've got in, yeah, the more realistic it will look. Find the patience to do it. It, it is, it's very relaxing doing this. Yes, it's going through here. Behind that black streak. And it's extremely fine, so you can just try and put a line through it. Then just soften up the end of your line. Like that. That works. This is orangey, orangey, do throw, then you could do the other hairs over, over it. That's red on the tip. Oh, I need some dark lights in there. Turn back so you can see straight away what's wrong. It's not orange enough. Then you need to stand back with this. You can see exactly what needs doing.
finish there. I forgot to put my timer on again. I don't know, can't get the hang of timers. I need more practice. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I won't be doing any tomorrow because I'm going to be going away for a few days. But I've done enough videoing so I can hopefully upload one of them away next week, some videos. Okay, let's hope, eh? Fingers crossed. As long as everything works. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.